everyone, welcome to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today is Meatless Monday. Yes indeed. I have a Meatless Monday recipe for you you're gonna love. Today I am going to be making honey garlic cauliflower for two. Oh yes, it's gonna be delicious. I am gonna start some jasmine rice. I'm actually gonna make this in the air fryer. You could totally do it in your oven. You could even deep fry it, which would be delicious. Whatever you decide you'd like to do. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, so I have my water boiling for my rice and I am making up jasmine rice and then I am cutting up green onions and I'm just kind of cutting them on the bias. I wanna have all my stuff ready to go. Okay. Those are done. I have some toasted sesame seeds. They're almost gone. I need to get some more. So I am going to, actually, I want to get started too on my um, cutting up my cauliflower. But before I do that, I want to put these in a container. So I will put all these guys in a bowl. Okay, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to cut it up first and then rinse it. So I'm going to put it right in my colander. While cutting this up, I want to make... Um, smaller pieces, but not too small, you know, you know what I mean. So that was a big piece, so I'm gonna quarter it. Quartered. So I'm just gonna keep going with my cauliflower into pieces that are about this size. Okay, I have beaten two eggs here. Here I have a half a cup of flour. I'm just gonna put some um, black pepper in it. I'm also going to put a little bit of salt in it. You can flavor your flour any way you like it. And a little paprika. I'm just keeping it simple. Um, we're going to have a flavorful sauce, so I don't need I don't need a ton of flavor in the coating. Here, I am going to start out with a half a cup of uh, plain breadcrumbs. If I need more, I'll put more in there. And I have some olive oil spray. Not a normal thing for me, but I bought it during air fryer February. And um, so I figure I will use it. I normally do not use sprays, but I'm going to use it up. I'm going to spray my tray here because I'm going to stick this in my little air fryer oven. And then my cauliflower is all washed up. I just took it out of the sink. Um, since it's still a little bit damp, that is nice because now I can get my flour to stick to it. You can skip the flour and just do the egg and the um, breadcrumbs. Or if you're gluten-free, use gluten-free flour, gluten-free breadcrumbs, whatever you use as gluten-free. Um, we are not gluten-free in this house, so I can't tell you all the gluten-free substitutes because that is not my area of expertise, I can tell you that. I am then going to dip it in egg. And when people say, this is my dry hand, this is my wet hand, those people are awesome. I don't know how you can remember that because I can't. <laughs> I, I'm never going to be one of those that remembers which one's my dry hand and which one's the wet one. There's my cauliflower. You can use panko, but panko is not going to give you as good a coverage as a fine breadcrumb. So keep that in mind. Kind of toss them around a little bit. Okay, I have half of it on this tray. The other half is in this bowl. Ooh, it made more than I thought it would. So this might actually feed uh, three to four people. I'm going to spray a little bit of olive oil on top. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my air fryer. I don't know how many minutes yet until it's crispy, but I'll let you know how long it took, and I'm gonna put it on 450 degrees. Putting it on 425 degrees. I will put these on the tray as soon as that is done. Um, I, it's probably gonna take a good 15 minutes, I wanna say, maybe 10 minutes-ish. We'll see, I'll let you know. In the meantime, let's make our sauce. I want to put a half a cup of honey in my pan. It's probably a good half a cup. To this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I am going to put two teaspoons of sriracha. So this is my tablespoon. I'm just not going to fill it all the way up. That is good. In a measuring cup, I'm going to put two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put five tablespoons of water in here also. Also going into this uh, soy sauce and water are going to be two teaspoons of cornstarch. Just for a tiny bit of thickener. It doesn't need to be really thick. I'm going to whisk this up. Okay, I'm going to start my heat. I'm going to whisk this up and I'm going to pour it in while it is still cold. Wow, I'm making a mess. I have sauce jumping out everywhere. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of onion powder because I add it to everything. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of ginger. You don't have to add the spices if you don't want to. It is good without it, but I like it with that little bit extra, little bit extra flavor in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook this until it thickens up slightly. The vinegar gives it a good acidity, so don't forget this. If you don't like heat, leave the sriracha out. Not anything you have to use. You can use low sodium soy sauce as well. Okay, my sauce has thickened up just slightly. You don't want it super thick, just a little bit. And then here are my cauliflower. They are out of the oven. And they did take about 20 minutes because it's in my air fryer oven. Um, things take a little bit longer in there than they do in the little drawer air fryer. So keep that in mind. If you put it in your drawer air fryer, it's not gonna take as long. I have the jasmine rice over here. I am gonna put some in the bowl. Okay. There is his, I, I don't want to give him a bunch of case. He doesn't like it. Uh, you should have seen the look on his face when I told him we were having meatless Monday. I am going to put some sauce over those for him. I am going to sprinkle with some green onions and some toasted sesame seeds. And there it is. Yum. At least I think yum. Let's see what he thinks. Taste tester in the house today. What we got, babe? So this is, this is your meatless Monday. This is That's not meat. It's honey cauliflower. Honey cauliflower. Honey garlic cauliflower. That looks like bits of It's not a lot of, of garlic cake. though. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. There we go. There we go. That's delicious, the flavor. Check out this cauliflower. Cauliflower does need a little bit more salt, but... Mm. Wow, babe. You got some, what's that? You got some sauce mm. to put over? In the pan. I, don't know I didn't put a ton of it on. All the honey sauce? Mm hmm. Oh. Salt your cauliflower before you put it on your plate. <laughs> yeah, 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 just a little bit. <laughs> wow. The sauce makes delish. 
Cauliflower is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So you approve of a meatless Monday? I do. <laughs> wow. Very impressed, babe. Are you shocked? <laughs> Shocked that I'm still eating it. Cauliflower mm -hmm. is delicious. That's all there is to it. It's a super quick dinner. Not only is it good for a meatless Monday, but it's also any day of the week quick dinner night. Quick weeknight dinner. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.